Hello everyone, welcome to Siddhi Academics. I'm Amrita. I firmly believe that you should keep trying until you get it right. So let's start our trial for today. Uh, we have done till question number four from exercise 10b. Today we'll start from question number five. Like this, we'll complete all the exercises from ratio and proportion. Then we will do questions from Olympiad. But for that, if you want to solve along with me, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Siddhi Academics. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so let's start with uh, exercise 10b question number 5. But before that, I'd like you to know that I, I will attach all the videos of the previous uh, questions that I have solved for exercise 10b in the description. Also, somewhere in, up in the video also, you can find the links uh, of the previous questions that we have solved. I have made two videos, previous videos for exercise 10b. This is the third video. So, the previous two videos, I'll attach. Now, here, question number 5 says, determine if the following ratios form a proportion so here if you see one is in centimeter and one is in meter so if i multiply simply uh, like before then here the answer will be wrong i have to change either this meter to centimeter or this centimeter to meter so let me change this meter to centimeter and bring everything in the same unit so first i'll do product of extremes 25 multiplied by 160 so here, if you see 160, can I not write like this? 25 multiplied by 4 into 40. 4 into 40 is what? 160. So 25 into 4, how much it is? 100, right? 25 multiplied by 4. We know it's already 100. 100 multiplied by 40. See, without doing any manual uh, multiplication, we, we can find easily if we break down one number, if ca it can be broken down even if one number, then we can easily find. So, 100 into uh, 40 will be 4000. Okay. Similarly, here 1 meter, 1 meter is how many centimeters? 1 meter is 100 centimeter, right? If you check out uh, the calculation, 1 meter is 100 centimeter. So, let us uh, do this now. 100 multiplied by 40, right? We are doing the means, product of means. So, this will again be 4000. So, here product of, I am just writing product of means is equal to that of product of extremes, right? So, obviously, these uh, um, ratios are in proportion you can write a statement that these ratios are in proportion because just now we found out that both the values of the products is equal to 4000 okay so let's move to the next question here in question number 5 bit 3 question i have taken here also same thing has happened both the units on the left hand side both this ratios um, uh, not the both the ratios but this particular ratio the units are different so here i'll change this liter to milliliter so first let me do product of extremes 200 multiplied by 50 simple 5 twos are 10 i write first the 10 and then three zeros will follow right because here there are two zeros and one zero here so total 5 to z 10 and then followed by 3 zeros. Now 2.5 L. 2.5 L if I have to convert to ML, what it will be? I will multiply it with 1000, right? Because 1 liter is equal to how much? 1000, 1000 ML. So 2.5 it is, <coughs> one, uh, 1 zero will help me take this decimal point here. So, 1 0 is gone because of the decimal point. Then left are 2 more zeros. So, 2500 ml, right? If I convert to ml, 2.5 liters is 2500 ml. Now, I will multiply it with, uh, okay, I will just erase this. Multiply it with, I uh, will multiply it with 4. Right, 4 means 25 into 4 again, 25 into 4 is 100, 100 and then 2 more zeros. Again, 10,000 here, product of extremes and product of means, same value, 
this is same value right this is equal to this so definitely this these two ratios are in proportion you write a statement proper statement here i'm just adding uh, a clause that these ratios are i'm just writing in proportion you write a full sentence so we are done with question number 5 let's see which other question we should attempt let's start with question number 6 now 6 says in a proportion the first second and fourth terms are 51 68 and 108 respectively find the third term so the term that we need to find that will take as a variable so if you are not clear with algebra then solving such questions solving such equations will be difficult you can check out uh, all the exercises from exercise 10b and proper explanation for algebra i have done in the playlist of grade 6 uh, algebra you can find everything from rs agarwal you can check that out if you have any doubts with algebra so that you can solve this kind of questions easily so i have taken uh, let the third term be x and then what will my proportion become 51 is to 68 is as x is to 108 so now i will find the value of x x how will i find first i'll do multiplication of 68 into x 68 into x can i not write it like 68x both are one and the same thing so this is the product of means 68x now i'll do product of extremes 51 into 108 don't just multiply 51 with 108 because here we can remove the common factors from the numerator and the denominator where will the denominator come here here there is only 51 108 see the 68 is multiplied this side if i need to find the value of x i'll take the 68 to the other side so if it is multiplied this side if it goes to the other side you know transposing method here it will get divided so 68 is the denominator new denominator in order to make Uh, find the value of x. You bring the 68 and divide it. So now, what is common factor between 68 108? Four we know. So four four ones are four, and then six uh, minus four is two. Two and eight comes down twenty eight. Four sevens are twenty eight. Similarly, here I will do four twos are eight. Ten minus eight is two. Two eight comes down, so it becomes four sevens are twenty eight. Then Now seventeen ones are seventeen. Here also seventeen is here in fifty one. Seventeen threes are fifty uh, one. Now what will the x value be? Therefore, x value is equal to three multiplied by twenty seven. One remains in the denominator. I will not write that. Three multiplied by twenty seven is eighty one. This is the value for x. Now uh, we have found the third term for this question number six. Let's move to the next question. Next question also is a similar question. What it is asking us to find out second term. The first, third, and fourth terms of our proportion are twelve, eight, and fourteen respectively. Find the second term. So here also let the second term be x. So what will the proportion become now? Twelve is to x is as eight is to fourteen. So first let's write product of means eight x. Eight multiplied by x is eight x. Twelve into fourteen. Here also don't do twelve into fourteen. Keep it like this because. We can cancel out. So x, if we need to find the x, then I'll take the eight to this side. If eight comes to this side, it will become division, right? Because it is eight is multiplied with x this side. So if it comes to here, the other side, it will get divided. Four twos are eight, four threes are twelve, two ones are two, two sevens are fourteen. Therefore, x value will be equal to. Three into seven, twenty-one. This is the second term for this question. Question number seven. So end of question number seven.